Alright, <clears throat> shalom, shalom. Global Twins 2040. Mm. What? Saudi Arabia wants to accept payments of oil in the yuan? Huh? Is, is this really what they want to do? If they do this, this is going to put them in a quagmire. And what I mean by that? If you go back and remember what Trump did, <laughs> what Trump said. Look, we're paying for your protection. We're paying for your protection to produce your oil safely, to move about the nations safely with your oil. But you're not cutting us a good deal. This is what Trump said. He was at the table. He said it. Go look it up. Trump on Saudi Arabia oil. This is what he said. I'm not saying the way how he said it, but you can look it up and read it for you, hear it for yourself. If the United States pulls away, it's not if, it's when, okay? When, okay? <laughs> when they pull away the military from defending Saudi Arabia, them Houthis going to go in. They already, they already ready. We've seen the attack that Iran was bold enough to do on the embassy. We see the, um, um, the hostage, not the hostages, the taking of the oil uh, tanker, the um, merchant tanker that they did. They ready. Okay. They ready. And Saudi Arabia has a problem coming up because you have Ramadan coming up. Um, and, and that may be an opportunity for Israel to uh, do the attack. Um, because this is the alternative that you might have heard, <laughs> uh, Secretary, um, not Blinken, but, um, National Security Advisor, Jake Sull Sullivan, I think his name is, um, in the Pentagon, the alternatives, we do have alternatives. The alternatives is to let Israel do their operations against Iran. Now, Saudi Arabia has been uh, pushing their proxies, military, uh, into Syria. Remember, Assad is still sitting on the throne. They still haven't got rid of Assad. And Assad, Assad is friends with Putin. But you also got Kazakhstan, Tajikistan. Uh, China, um, what else? A, a host of stands, you know, <laughs> Libya, Algeria, um, Egypt. Even though they are not backing Putin on a open wire, open for the world to see, they are backing him because they want to be from under the thumb and the pressure of the United States. They want to be under that from under that thumb. They want to be able to conduct commerce according to their dictates. If you read the, and I'm still reading, I'm gonna read it some more. The um, joint statement of China and Russia. You should read it. Read read the. First five pages and the last five pages, and you'll have a understanding of what they are talking about when it comes to the world order, when it comes to what the United States has done in the world, being o being an oppressor, killing the innocent, bombing people that don't even have no have no um qualms. With the United States. Fulfilling 2nd Ezra chapter 11. Doing those things. Being an oppressive power. So the Most High has to raise up a power to challenge that. To challenge the oppressor. You can't sit back and just be oppressed. The Most High says fight back. But don't be the aggressor. You understand? That's why it took so long for Putin 
to uh, respond. Because if he had responded at an early thing, they would have labeled him as an aggressor and they would have been right. But now that they telling him, saying that he's an aggressor now, and he done laid out all his, all the things that the United States have done. Well, no, China laid out all the things the United States has done. You forgot about what they did up in Alaska when China lambasted um, um, the United States for trying to tell China about the Uyghurs. You forgot about the Uyghurs. You understand? <laughs> You forgot about that. Remember, remember, China was just a um, human rights violator about Hong Kong. You forget about the riots in Hong Kong. People rising up, neighbors rising up against neighbor, people against people. You forget about those. You know what I'm saying? But now, the United States went over to China and Taiwan with their delegation action. Right now, they're pushing the United Nations, pushing China to say something. To get Putin to stop his war. And China already said in the statement. Look. Our bonds have no limit. And of course they're not going to commit troops. Um, into this. Because the troops don't come until. Uh, the 200 million. Um, army. Satan's army in the 6th year. That don't come until after. The peace deal. And those, that's the kings of the east. Um, finishing what is happening now because there will be a pause into what's happening now but that pause will not come until the United States is sat down okay from being a terror in the European Union in the United Nations on the world stage from out of Belgium not from New York remember they got two headquarters you understand the one in Belgium is the one that we should be looking at, not the one in New York. The one in Belgium is the one we should looking at, should be looking at. Because Germany is there. And that is the strong arm of the Holy Roman Empire. It's Germany. That's where the Vatican has their tentacles and military arms. It's in Germany. German against the Russians, okay? And the Russians against the U.S. Those, the tri, triangle of um, problems and powers in the world. And, every, and the ones that's in the middle is <clears throat> the Islamic world. Because they have a strict code. Remember, the children of Hagar have a strict code that they cannot deviate from the law. They don't have the liberty of the children of Sarah. They don't have that liberty. They come up under the law. They're, they're taught under the law. And their, at least their society is supposed to be law-based. Meaning this is how they grow up. Meaning they see how you should conduct yourself on a daily basis. Not like here in the West... Where you are a product of liberty of trial and error. You understand? Where you can go out here and make mistakes that may cost you your life. It may cost you life or death. You understand? Choose you this day whether you serve the Most High or whether you choose death. Choose you this day, life or death. You understand? Following the laws of the Most High or following the wiles of the devil. Which brings upon death. So that is the difference between the two. We know that the liberty of conscience is under attack. However, that is also being challenged by the Inspector General, Yahshua HaMashiach. To bring yourself back into alignment on the straight path. On the path of the law. Don't use your liberty to commit sin, iniquity. Don't use your liberty to commit iniquity. Shalom.